we found that there was one particular huge crevice that was emanating lots of smell. It made us really excited. It was amazing feeling, yes, this is, this is a cave that we were looking for. The first time I saw the cave opening and when that started emerging out, it was happiness beyond any boundaries. I'm happy that people recognize us as a bat family. Sometimes they refer to me as Batman of India, Batwoman. I guess I wanted to impress him. It's like uh, instead of giving roses, I've given him a dead bat. The day we got married, I saw a poor bat and I caught the bat and gifted it to her, saying that this is your wedding gift. This bat was assessed as endangered. No other information existed about this bat after 1994. The nose leaf of this particular bat is cup-shaped and it has a single supplementary leaflet. This is one of the most endangered species uh, of uh, bats that we have in India. As luck would have it, we chanced upon a very old person over there. We told him that we are looking for any case. And then he said that there were people like you who came uh, long ago and then I've gone inside a cave and then I've uh, brought out lots of guano. So I said, uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> luck is on our side this time. He just pointed us in the general direction. So we went there and then we literally sat in front of it and then the smell was very strong and it, it made us really excited. Yes, this is a cave. It was amazing feeling, yes, this is, this is a cave that we were looking for and then we ultimately found it. We all uh, had our headlamps on because it was already dark and then we heard some shouts from the distance. They were saying, hey, who's there? Lots of shouts we heard and we could see torches moving in the darkness. So I don't know how we did it. We switched off our lights, we just dumped everything into our backpacks and then we held on to these bats carefully because they need to breathe. We tied a couple of bats to our pant loops and we just ran from there. We just forgot that there were any loose stones, we just kept running, we didn't look back and then we reached the highway, some or the other. We just sat there, we were catching up our breath and then we thought, okay, let's start measuring these bats and then checking them out because we need to release them. The fifth bat that we took out was very unique. It was nice and golden in colour with dark ears and it's nose leaf was cup shaped like like a flower bud and it had a single leaflet and that was joining on the uh, upper lip and this was the one that we were looking for and this was the kola leaf nose bat and we said yes we got it it was exciting we were all taking turns just to look at it it was such a beautiful bat and so we took its pictures and that was the first time and the bat was pictured by anyone. First thing was our priority was to publish a paper immediately. There might be around 200 to 300 individuals only. We reassessed the status of this bat as a critically endangered bat. Once these papers were published, we started 
to involve the local villagers because they are the custodians of those lands. Until you connect with people, uh, you cannot carry the message. So that's, that's what we have done, uh, making them understand how each and every living organism is interacting with each other. A couple of them were educated enough to draft a letter and all the villagers give their thumb impression or their signatures onto that letter saying that they wanted to protect that hill and stop the mining immediately. It all culminated into it being declared as a conservation reserve on 9th of January 2019. If it were not for their help and cooperation, this would not have been possible because the local communities are extremely important in conservation and protection of any species. It is a success story, but challenges still are there. People ask me, why bats? And I said, you have not seen a bat from a close distance. They are so beautiful animals. I don't think I can ever forget this experience that I had uh, throughout my life. I feel that it's, it's just a beginning. 99 more species of bats to go. We need to protect all of them.